and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are reviewing the Moana Surfrider Resort, a Westin property directly on the beach in Waikiki. This is the last video in our seven-part series reviewing all seven oceanfront hotels on Waikiki Beach. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also, if you are trying to decide which oceanfront hotel to stay at, please watch our other six reviews. Each hotel has its own unique selling points, and learning what those are will help you make the best choice for your island holiday. Now, let's get down to it. The Moana property has history. Opened in 1901, it is known as the First Lady of Waikiki because it was the first hotel in the area. Others sprang up around it, and by the 1920s, Waikiki Beach started to become a tourist destination. During World War II, when tourism came to a standstill, the First Lady of Waikiki even stepped up and became an R&R hotel for U.S. soldiers. Check out the small museum on the second floor of the hotel to see how the hotel has evolved over time. My favorite item in the museum is a menu from a New Year's Eve party held at the hotel in its early years. The hotel also has a room set aside to play old footage of Waikiki and especially footage of the Moana during its early period. When you arrive at the hotel, you will be greeted by the bellman under the port cochere, which overhangs the circular drive, and you'll walk through into the open air lobby for check-in. Immediately, you have a view through to the back hotel and to the beach beyond, and it is stunning. The blue of the ocean pops out at you, and you won't be surprised that most of the action at this hotel happens at the back of the property. The back porch hosts a small seating area and restaurant, and as you walk down the stairs, you will find a huge courtyard filled with people, enjoying a drink under the canopy of the banyan tree. There is also a small pool area here as well, but it is not really a selling point for this property. The focus is on the banyan tree courtyard and the beach. The Moana has a fabulous spot on Waikiki Beach, which not all of the oceanfront hotels can boast. Some hotels have nothing but a retaining wall or a small patch of sand, but the Moana has a sizable sandy beach. The staff will get you set up with a rental chair and umbrella on the beach if you like, or there are complimentary lounge chairs around the pool. But those go fast. If you want a pool lounge chair, get there by 7 a.m. when they open, as the lounge chairs will all be claimed by 7.10. It surprises some visitors that, with the high cost of a room at the Moana, beach chairs would not be free, but the standard on Waikiki Beach is that the hotels all charge for the privilege of renting their beach chairs. You can always bring your own or purchase lightweight chairs and an umbrella at the local ABC convenience store but that requires some effort to bring them up and down each night. A tip for Bonvoy Elite members is that as a welcome amenity from the hotel, they will provide you a voucher for two free rental chairs a day during your stay. Bonvoy is the Weston loyalty program, and you have to be an elite member to get this perk. The Moana has three choices of room types, the Banyan Wing, the Diamond Wing, and the Tower Wing. Let me explain the difference between the wings. The Banyan Wing is the original hotel before additions increased the size of the property. The Banyan Ocean View rooms will look out over the Banyan Court and Ocean, and since there is live music in the evening, will be on the louder side. The Banyan City View rooms will face the street and will get street noise. The Diamond Wing was a later addition and sits perpendicular to the original hotel. These rooms could be quieter, and except for the two rooms at the end of the wing that have oceanfront views, will have a less direct view of the ocean or city, so are less expensive. The most expensive rooms at this hotel are in the Tower Wing. The Tower Wing was once the Surfrider Hotel and was incorporated into the Moana to make one larger property. The Tower Wing rooms are larger and quieter than the Banyan and Diamond Wings, but also a slightly longer walk to the beach and courtyard. So when making reservations for this property, Keep in mind what is most important to you for your vacation. Now let's talk about the dining options at this hotel. As you enter the hotel, there is a Honolulu coffee shop to your right, so you can grab a coffee before settling in to enjoy the views on the porch. The main restaurant for the hotel is on the back porch. It serves breakfast, afternoon, tea, and dinner. As a note, the restaurant is called the Veranda at the Beach House for breakfast and afternoon tea. For dinner, it is called the Beach House at the Moana. Remember to make reservations in advance for afternoon tea, if that is something you'd like, since afternoon tea is very popular. Another choice for food is the Beach Bar, which sits in the middle of the Banyan Courtyard. This is really a bar that serves small plates of food. 
Finally, if you want a quick snack at the pool, you can pick up some grab and go options at the Surfrider Cafe, which is a quick serve cafe by the pool. When you want to venture outside of the hotel for food, you are well positioned across the street from the International Marketplace, which houses numerous restaurant choices among its retail stores. You will find food outlets here that run the gamut from the cheap to very expensive, so there is something for everyone. The hotel also provides a nice lineup of activities that are included in the resort fee. Cultural choices include lei making both fresh flower and ribbon, Hawaiian bracelet weaving classes, story time, and hula classes. If you want to be more active, join one of the yoga classes or organized beach runs. The hotel posts all current options on their website in the event you want to plan your days out in advance. And of course, once out at the beach, you will find all sorts of vendors available to get you onto a surfboard, into an outrigger canoe, or onto a sunset cruise. That wraps up our review of the Moana Surfrider. We hope you enjoyed it and will follow us and subscribe, as we will be back next week with new content. Mahalo!